I'll just resume snuggling my cheeks up to these cute little toes. It's only been like 90 seconds and I already want to kill myself. Kill yourself? But these size 6 feet are so cute! Actually fucking stupid! I always wanted a flip phone like that, like hers. A pink flip phone. Well, I think last time I picked school start. So I'm picking home start this time. Morning, sweetheart. Yeah, uh, Dad, why were all the family photos with Mom shattered on the bathroom floor? Just, just don't worry about it. I'll clean it up later. Why don't you clean it up now, Dad, before I step in it and turn into a Ripley's episode? Okay, okay, I'll get the vacuum. But yeah, where's Mom? Jessica, there's no easy way to Yeah, it looks like a real Did house mom get background. Well, no, now, don't be ridiculous. And there's not a uh, lot of furniture. Right. The news thinks women are worthless once they turn 30 anyway. Well, Jesus Christ, they're not wrong. What? Honey, your mother and I are getting a divorce. Uh, are you positive? For what? N no, I mean, are you sure? Look, I don't mean to bring all this on you at once, but I think the last fight we had was pretty much the straw that broke the camel's back. She's left to go live with your grandmother until we figure out who it keeps what. It looks like what. their basement. Holy shit. Because of the stairs, right? If, if you need any family counseling, The stairs counseling, on the left side? This shit's gonna be awesome! Screen? How? Two birthdays, two Christmases, too many excuses to dilf. get really cute emo tattoos. Yeah, Dear, he's, he's a dill. I'm not sure if you should look at this as a good thing. But he's it's not an like abuse of dill. She's just living somewhere else. And would you want to live with her and your grandma? Dad, fuck no. Grandma's like the biggest bitch on earth. Besides, all my friends are here. Well, all right, but just so you know, now that she's gone, there's gonna have to be a few changes around here. Changes like what? Since her income Looking no like longer Jake contributes to the household, Farm? paying Hot. for your college is turning out to be a little more I challenging see it. I than kinda I predicted. See it, chat. So what are you saying? I'm saying you're gonna have to get a job if you want to continue to live here. Dad, what the fuck? I know, I know. I said you wouldn't need to, but she's the one divorcing you. Don't take it out on me. I swear, if you don't shut the fuck up, I will throw your ass out on the street. Uh, okay, Dad. How about I knock a tooth out every time you act like your bitch whore mother? Think I give a fuck? We paid for braces. Right, fine. I'll get a job. Shit. Still gonna be a bitch. No, no, I'll be good. Good, because if you're not, I will smack your makeup off! Now get your ass out there and find a job or your mattress is going in the backyard! Okay, just stop yelling! Good, because the last thing we want is you ending up like your freeloading whore of a mother. I thought she had a job. Yeah, we don't want that. I'm sorry I yelled, sweetheart, but now that you're 18 and mom's not around anymore, the parenting's going to be a little different from now on. Bad parenting. Who's daddy's girl. Ugh. I am. Good. Cringy. Hello. Hey, Craig. Yeah, I'd love to donate. To I love how daughter. angry Jekka gets. Yeah, he same. Charity. How could he abuse his daughter? Number one dad. And he's not bluffing. Yeah, he's the best dad out? in the whole world. I'm just gonna get my horrible job to appease him until I go to college in September. He should get the a best dad hiring. trophy. Journeys isn't hiring. Not even Popeyes is hiring. How's a restaurant where everyone looks miserable not have a huge turnover rate? Because the recession. What even is the recession? I don't know, but it's a thing you can blame shit on. The recession's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I'm broke because the recession. Yeah, can't have dinner with your vegan parents. Recession. I wish that worked on my dad. And your dad wishes you worked. Cruel irony. Oh, hey guys. Fancy seeing you here. What the fuck do you want? Yeah, we're busy, Jeffrey. Busy applying for jobs, I take it. Are you stalking her? What the? No. I saw you were he running around tag. with a bunch of application papers on my way to work is all. Work is all? What do you mean work? You have a job? I'm going to go That's right. your thread. Oh, I got thank a job so at much. the bookstore since I spent so much time reading the manga there. That's our Every Jeffrey. Every time we talk, I really wonder how you could possibly have legal sex. Uh, so what? After graduation, I realized that sex is kind of overrated. 
I'm into plenty of other stuff beyond girls and their mm -hmm. high standards. Is bathing a standard? You know, Jeffrey, some girls would lower their standards if you could get them hired at the bookstore you're working at. Sorry, but no can do. Is that the girl in the suicidal shirt? Bitch, don't lie to the us. girl who you did it. You think I could just give yeah. you handouts because you're was a girl? The who Abby, the workforce is herself. biased against women. Help us out. Help her out. I don't want no bitch ass job. She's the main you character of the other two games. Pull that feminism card. Sorry, but your damsel in distress act ain't working here, tuts. Oh, I'm gonna be late. Women. Did he had to say tuts? I think all the not fucking women is turning into not liking women. Do you think you should turn gay? I don't think it works like that. Okay, well, hot topics next on the list. Could I turn gay working there? You can't just magically turn gay. This isn't Degrassi. Why are you so against turning gay? Because if you think you turned gay, there's some weird Christian guy who thinks he can electrocute you into turning back. People think that? Yeah, but only a small number with lots of money and political power, so don't worry about it. Cool. Yeah, let's see if I can find a goth work girlfriend. So they are lesbians. Do you feel like this place isn't it. hardcore enough? What, like all the Disney stuff? No, it's just missing something. Like if I ran this place, the TVs would have videos of guys getting decapitated with a Hello Kitty. I mean, I knew Nicole was because cool. of the endings I got. You should from apply the for manager games, here. Do you realize the type of people you got to deal with working here? I so did not bitches. expect that. What the fuck do you want? Yeah, and we don't go to school with you anymore, so you can't just come up to us. Well, no, if anything, I could do what I want since you don't have the principal to squeal to. This isn't school, it's real life. We'll just tell the police. No, you won't. How do you know? Don't like 50% of women not even report crimes or whatever? Yeah, so? So if I punch you in the neck, flip a coin, bitch. And he's off to his dad's dealership. What are you posers doing here? You go to Hot Topic alone and you're calling us posers? Yeah, we're not here because we like it. I'm just trying to get a job. Do you work here? No. Are you sure? I work at the Chrome Diner, not this weirdo hangout for girls who clap when they see pandas. But if we're the only ones in here, who does work here? How'd you buy that all-time low cereal? I miss the These old Hot O's? Topic. I'm just stealing them. But why do you need a job? I thought your parents had money. Never been in there, but I passed by shit. it. But yeah, I really gotta work. At the mall. Strip club in Crystal City's hiring. And I'm yeah, like, fuck that. ooh. What's it pay? Tips. Yeah, I wanna go in that. there. I didn't bust my ass in high cool. school to sell my body to guys who look like Super Mario without the costume. Yeah, we'll see. I seen the people who work there, too. Let me know if you wanna wait tables. I can do better than waiter. They right? look like God. You can't even wait for popcorn. I told you I like it medium well. But yeah, Jekka, I'm super stoked that you want to work at FYE. Man, with I should have went you in. Think I want to work. Oh, customer, hold on. Welcome to FYE. I'm Kelly. How can I help you today? Uh, yeah, honey. You don't have the some coach. Of that mild style, do you? I'm sorry, mild. What? Is that a band? No, it's not a band. It's that. Mild, mild, mild. You know what I mean? Sir, this isn't a pop mild? Ice, but maybe they could help you out. Yeah, with everything but a yeah, goddamn sir. fucking job. The dumbest bitches on earth working here nowadays. What was that all about? Sometimes old people use retail to be recreationally angry. Well, damn, now I really don't want to work here. No, no, it's cool. That was like once in a blue moon. What are the rest of the customers like? Oh, hey guys, what's going on? Did you hear the new Devin Townsend album? He's like the, the drummer I from the I always see Ho. him. Fuck, no network in here. <laughs> oh, hello. Um, Nicole, right? Yeah, where's Jessica? Jessica, right. She's just up in her room applying for jobs over the phone, but she'll only be a few more minutes. Cool. Thank you for the teddy bears. But um, we can talk while she's busy. How you doing? How you doing today? I have to go walk my dog. Good luck on the yeah. rest of your stream. Thank you so much. You guys got anything planned? Um, we're yeah, gonna go you to can. Claire's and trick twelve-year-olds into getting their eyelids pierced. Oh, Claire's. Yeah, I've Claire's? been there a few times. For what? Oh, just uh, browsing. By the looks Wait, of things, you're using with her? their accessories really well. Yeah, I guess I would if I actually shopped there. Too bad I'm not some sugar-free vanilla bitch who thinks Katherine Heigl is funny. Oh, right. Yeah. No, I, um... So where do you shop? It's pretty indie. You probably haven't heard of it. Try me. I used to be in that scene. What scene? Um, you know, the scene. Sure. No, but, yeah, Jessica never told me much about you. Especially not how beautiful you are. Uh -oh. Yeah, I'm kind of perfect like that. She's probably jealous. You know, before her mother, my last girlfriend was a brunette too, actually. 
Really? Cool, yeah, that's normal to tell me. By the way, I just got these blue oyster cult tickets if you're ever interested. Sorry, I'm not religious. No, no, Blue Oyster Cult, they're a band. Aren't most cults banned? No, a rock band. Oh, never heard of them. So, a who do you like? that likes Nobody. rock I'm gonna bands. go up now. Wait, hmm. but I don't think she's done yet. Well, it felt like an eternity talking to you, so if this bitch doesn't have a job by now, I'm pretty sure you failed as a parent. Okay, thanks for the job. And yeah, bring your Adderall Go tell Monday. him, Nicole. What kind of job did you get? Oh, Emily just got me a job waiting tables with her. How does buying a girl's Adderall turn into employment? Buying drugs can make you like the most connected person in town. Gotta connect with people, you know? I steal them. Yeah, it's a great way to meet friends you'll immediately cut off once you get your life together. Wow, working in a diner. That's like the start of a Hillary Duff movie where I she love finds her out room. her dad has a blood diamond mine. Did you just get here? No, your dad made me wait downstairs. He kept trying to talk to me. Oh, well, how'd that go? How would I word this? Flirty. Your dad really wants to fuck me. Well, no way. Whoa. Yeah way. My dad would never do that. Never or never want to. But how do you know? Why don't you just believe me? Because I don't believe my dad would just go up to you like, let's fuck. No, they never do it like that. I can just tell. He was way too interested. Interested how? He told me I'm beautiful. What if he's just being nice? He asked me where I shop for accessories. He's just looking around for my birthday. Bitch, that's 10 months from now. All right, fine. But if that's all you have, I don't think that's enough to go off of. His last girlfriend was a brunette. His what? He told me his last girlfriend was a brunette. Uh, Nicole. Yeah? My dad wants to fuck you. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. Help me kill myself. Well, that wouldn't be technically killing yourself, now would it? I can't go through with it alone. I'm too scared. Work that job for a month. You'll get there. Yeah, so, uh, any questions? Can your boyfriend get ketamine, too? About the job? Oh, um, don't you have to wear a uniform? We make $2 an hour and the rest is in tips. I'm not wearing some ugly-ass uniform. Yeah, I guess we gotta look our best then. Besides, the manager likes it. I'm pretty sure he dates a different waitress every month anyway. Is that why he wanted a picture before hiring me? Yeah, it's basically the Playboy Mansion with more calories. More like the Playboy Motorhome, we're not getting paid shit. Oh, he actually gives a bonus if you wear open toe shoes. Fucking why? I don't know. He's five foot four in Turkish. You think he's gonna act normal? I guess it's worth the bonus. And your boyfriend's just okay with all this? Which one? The. Uh, never mind. At least I'm not a whore. Why do you gotta work so much again? My dad's forcing me to help out with the bills until college. Dude, fuck your bitch ass dad. I know, right? <laughs> okay, well, I gotta refill this old guy's coffee before he starts telling me how service was better in the 60s. Why doesn't everyone buy CDs at the bookstore? Because who the fuck buys CDs in general? What is it, 2004? You don't always get locked out of your iTunes account from your ex-boyfriend hacking into it. Wow, computer literacy is the single most weaponized thing against women. Exactly. The CDs can't trick me into clicking on malware that calls me gay. But yeah, what'd you even get? I got the entire discography of Beanie Siegel. So what, like three CDs? Yeah, plus this cute little chemistry set in the kids section. You can make pop rocks, but shittier. Weren't your paycheck supposed to help out your dad? Whatever, there should be enough left over. Or you could buy me shoes at Journeys instead. Actually, sure. But will you be my girlfriend after? Nope. <laughs> you were just using me the whole time. You're a whore. Yep, I've been there before. Why are you stalking us? What do you mean? I work here. Oh, cool. Well, fuck off. One day, you girls won't be so lucky and are gonna have to face life how it really is. Is getting sexually assaulted every week lucky? Be grateful somebody even wants you in the first place. Oh, I wanna kill you. Ring us up before I beat your before photo looking ass into dust. All right, fine. But wait, you don't have any books. Why the fuck does that matter? Ring me up. Books are the best part of this place. You can read about trains or anime or podiatry or fantasy. Who fucking cares about fantasy? I got my own problems, dude. Are you telling me you didn't like Harry Potter? Didn't like? I didn't fucking read it. Oh, dear. Is that why you wear those stupid glasses? Because of Harry Potter? No, baby. I, Harry Potter is just so relatable. How can you not like it? Dude, bitches don't give head or pussy or anything in it. They just care about school. Yeah, we see why you find it relatable. No one fucks in it. That is not the point. Ugh, just follow me to the register. Over-socialized women. We're gonna make pretty lampshades. <laughs> 
I wish there was something more relaxing than cigarettes. Death? Yeah. By the way, where'd you get your purple jeans? I want some. Shop in Georgetown. They were like $200. How do you blow 200 on jeans when we're getting paid the same? You think this is my only job? Wow, I can barely do this job. I don't know why, but I feel like we're too pretty to work. What do they say? If you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. The girls cool. in this so game what do you do? I saw are cough so medicine funny. to middle schoolers and tell them it's heroin. Fuck, now I want a side job. You gotta get this job under control first. Manager keeps bitching about you coming in late. You come in late with me. Yeah, but I don't really give a shit if I get fired. New boyfriend, lots of money. Bought me these pants, actually. I thought you got them with your side job money. Nah, I just changed the subject so I'd look cool and independent. Oh, so who's your new guy? He's older, but not like totally lame. Like he's actually really fucking cool for an old guy. Is he actually rich? Is it the coach? I, mean, I work here, so is it a teacher? Me. Yeah, I guess. How much has he spent on you? I lost count. Easily a thousand. Cool. It sounds like he really likes you. Because he spends money on me. Well, it's not like men can communicate, so that's kind of all we have to go off of. How do you say that about men after gushing over Ryan Sheckler for like 50 hours? So? So he's a man? Ryan Sheckler's more than a man. He's a man with a gold medal at the X Games. Anytime he comes <laughs> into town, I flip out. He'll be my favorite forever and ever. But Life of Ryan is like the worst show on TV. No, it isn't. Anime exists. I want to one-up this bitch with purple shorts. Like if Daisy Duke got her laundry mixed up with Grimace. Grimace? Are you keeping up with the wacky adventures of Ronald McDonald canon too? What? What? The Ronald McDonald cartoon? It was made by the same studio that gave us Rugrats and the Wild Thornberries. Jeffrey, please don't rape any women. They've had enough. Well, hey, I wouldn't want that to happen to any woman. Provided she's not mean to people. Wow. What's wrong? Nothing fixable. So I gotta go now. Wait, but uh, could I talk about something with you? Talk about what? About us. What? Well, I need funny stories for Kelly's party this weekend, so sure. Okay. I just wanted to apologize and explain why things were so awkward between us in high school. Us or everyone you meet? But now that we're graduated, I guess it won't hurt to come clean with this. Huh? I've always sort of been a secret admirer of yours. Okay, well, hey, I gotta go to work now. No, no, I'm serious. I like your hair and your face and some other things too. Oh, he's but cut. I don't want to be inappropriate. No, she's go gonna ahead reject and tell me why I so hard. for an unrelated reason. Well, if you want me to, I always like how your jeans fit your body, and I like that your feet are really small and cute. Did you say feet? Yeah, I just like to... Oh, open-toed shoes! Are you wearing those for a special occasion? No, they're just for work. But yeah, I just love a cute pair of feet. So you don't like feet, or huh? or any of that? Just the feet? Well, primarily the feet. Oh, hey, Jekka, what's up? Please don't get near this. Oh, okay. So, you ever step on anybody with those? With my feet? No. Oh, well, if you need a hundred dollars, I could pay you to step on me. Whoa. Step on you? Why would you pay for that? I don't know. I, I just like it. It feels Jeffrey's good so to me. Jeffrey's so bold in this game. Dollars. Fucking Jeffrey, I'm gonna be late for work. What about two hundred? Two hundred to step on you? Well, provided your shoes are off, of course. We can do it in a family-sized restroom here in the mall. I mean, it's his Fuck, feet. Fuck, like twice what I'm making at work today. What do you think, chat? Step on him or... He needs to be normal. 200? Okay. Okay, fine. Where do we do it? I think Old Navy's nearby. We could try the ladies section. Old Navy? Why there? Because the two bitches who shop at Old Navy are either too ugly to be judgmental or no bitches at all. I think a private restroom in the mall might be better. Okay, let's do it in the bathroom at Crate and Barrel. Um, actually, if I could suggest the ladies' room at Starbucks... You just had that one ready. Yeah, I've done this a few times before at the mall with other girls, and the Starbucks restroom is pretty much a foot favorite. Why? Oh, lots of space, pretty quiet and secluded, and the tiles are really smooth and soft so they don't rough up those cute little feet of yours. And you're not gonna murder me once we're in there? Of course not. I want to take care of your feet. Not hurt them. But the rest of me is expensive. He sounds so like yeah, a gentleman. Come on, let's go to Starbucks. Are you gonna buy me coffee first? I think there's more than enough room in the budget for that. And is that coming out of my payment, or is it coffee in addition to the 200? 
For you, coffee plus the 200. I want to make sure you're taken care of since you haven't done this before. Wow, I wish men I actually consider sexually told me that. Who knows? Foot services are a great way to start relationships. Jeffrey, I wouldn't even consider you for a friendship. But... but why? Don't take this the wrong way, but... You like you anime. Like you fuck your pets. What? Oh. I... would never... I thought she was okay, gonna say, you like it. anime. Am I gonna step on you or what? The most amazing words a woman can say. God damn it. It's somewhat ironic <laughs> that your face and your feet are on opposite parts of your body when they're by far your cutest features. Is that supposed to turn me on? I don't get it. No, but maybe this will. I think you're prettier than most of my favorite anime crushes. Most of, as in there's still literal drawings that rank ahead of me. Come on, let's go to Starbucks and buy All you that right, coffee. they're gonna do it, guys. In circumstance where a white girl isn't happy to hear that. Mm, they feel like fleshy Play-Doh. Uh-huh. Uh, I like a girl that takes good care of her feet. <laughs> Yours are so nice and soft. Oh, yeah? I just want to carry you everywhere. What the so fuck? You never need to rough these up a day in your life. Kind of like I'm not a person? Yeah, cool. Also, would you mind if I complimented the rest of your body? Jeffrey, no. Okay, Jeffrey's winning. From this angle, you look very sexually tall. What the fuck did I just tell you? I asked you if you'd mind, and you said no. No, I meant no, don't do that. Oh, sorry then. No apology will erase this trauma. I'll just resume snuggling my cheeks up to these cute little toes. It's only been like 90 seconds and I already want to kill myself. Kill yourself? But these size 6 feet are so cute! Size 7. Are you sure? They feel like a size 6. I think I'd be the expert here. Okay, you're right. Mm, mm, softer than cotton candy. <laughs> okay, time's up, Jeffrey. <laughs> just five more minutes before I exit the gates of heaven. You're gonna enter the gates of hell if you don't get the fuck off my feet. Man? We're busy. <laughs> that was unsettlingly aggressive. Me and the community just want to enjoy feet and no one gets it. A community? Yeah, we all talk online. Just like-minded fellas who'd love feet like yours. You know, the internet also has like-minded fellas who molest kids. Is that okay, too? What, what was that? I was just nuzzling my nose between these adorable toes. Never mind, that answered my question. That is, um... If you'd like any more work like this, I could post a recommendation on our online Pretty crazy. Forum. What forum? Feetmeat.com. It had to rhyme. Never doing that again. God, I hope I'm not too late. Where the fuck were you? Customers. They're already upset because we can't keep up with the lunch rush. Sorry, yeah, I got my foot caught on a... Bitch, no one cares about your foot. Well, at least one person. This is the fourth time you were late, so manager said you're fired. What? Come on! Take it up with him, dude. I don't want to talk to him. He always puts his hand on my hip to console me. Well, he can't reach your shoulder. He's 5'4". Can you just tell him I was robbed or whatever? I would, but I'd rather steal a 10-minute break by throwing up in the bathroom. <sighs> that sounds really good right now. Good luck. Christ, how am I going to pay these bills now? Oh, hey, didn't know you worked here? That's pretty cool. I should come here more often. Fuck off! Die! Kill yourself! <laughs> God, I just want to call this bitch and threaten her, but why is the service down? Jessica! Dad, I'm busy. With what? I'm online cramming what a bunch did of he votes do? for what's is kind of annoying. Be. Internet, but no phone. Did you pay the phone bill? That became one of your responsibilities. Um, like... Maybe, I don't know. Why didn't you? Uh, well, money's kind of tight right now. You're still going to that job, right? Basically. And you're managing your income wisely? Unlike your whore fucking mother? Well, what was that first part? A lot just happened there. Honey, what's wrong at work? They're paying you your hours, right? Basically, but there's a stupid tipping rule and tips are entirely subjective, so... Whoa, now it sounds like you might be making excuses for poor performance on the job. Okay, just fucking take their side. See, when I was your age, even the jobs at the very bottom were taken far more seriously. I wonder why. Because back then, people cared about contributing to a community. Remember those four months after 9-11? How together we were? That might be the last time we'll ever see this country just get along. 
Dad, you were pulling Arab guys out of cabs and beating the shit out of them. How is that getting along? We were having fun. So, okay, let me give you a few tips on how uh. I worked at a diner back then. Yeah, all right. First off, work can be tough, but you need to always remember to be smiling and friendly. You never know what sort of day the customer was having, so whether it be their struggles or insecurities, meet them with kindness. This is already way too hard. Step two, small talk. It's the key to opening a real connection between you and the customer. If you can open that, they'll open their wallet for tips. No, they won't. And lastly, the old adage, the customer's always right. If there's ever a point of disagreement, do what you can to make it right. Got it. So if they say slavery should come the back, customer's just never just right. Just grit your teeth and move along. I guess we're really lucky the president doesn't work at a diner. Truthfully, honey, I don't want to put too much pressure on you. You don't have to be perfect. Just don't end up a worthless whore like your mother. Wow, with that reassurance, how could I fail? That's the spirit, Jessica. We've been to this mall ten times. I don't think you're gonna find a job here. It's been a week. Someone had to quit, right? You went to PacSun. Every girl wants to work there. It's like you're not even trying to get hired. That was just one place. I got a bunch more on the list. I guess it's just more places I can steal shit while you distract them with begging for employment. Oh, yeah. What'd you get from Circuit City? You mean Best Buy? Yeah, what'd you get from different colored Circuit City? I stole a demo iPod. Just ripped it off the stand. That should go for something on eBay. Sure. Um, Wait, what if that's I don't your think job? they were working for eBay. Fuck no, stealing shit and selling it on eBay. Could that really be consistent? Dude, totally. Your margins would be infinite because you're not paying for anything. I don't know. That sounds like a lot of work. Fucking everything you've applied for sounds like a lot of work. Rainforest cafe, baby talking kids while their dad stares at your tits. Yeah, but that's all work where I can turn my brain off. If I fuck it up, I can just get another job with no consequences. Oh my god, where are you applying next? Oh, uh, like. Maytag? I don't think I could fit a washer dryer in my back pocket. I'll be at the food court while you do that. Yeah, good luck on your free samples rounds. Fuck that Asian meat on a toothpick shit. I'm getting Popeyes. Opioids and Popeyes. Now that's watching your figure. Hey, uh, Sheka? Yeah, hey. So, um, where do you want to go to step on me? Before we get to that, you got the money? Of course, 200 in cash, just like you said. All right, cool. Starbucks restroom? Uh, actually, I prefer the bathroom at Lens Crafters. Literally, why? Just super quaint. The floor is a pretty nice tactile stick when you lift your feet off it, too. Yeah, but I can't buy a drink at Lens Crafters, now can I? Oh, you're right, you're right. After you. So, yeah, this is just... Amazing timing for everything that's happened to me today. Why are you telling me like I care? Oh, <laughs> sorry. The customer. But, so, what did your dad say to you? He was just teasing me for being some loser who can't meet girls. Oh yeah, dads can be really mean sometimes. I guess he's right though. Uh, no way! You're meeting a girl right now, aren't you? Yeah, but I need to mm -hmm. pay for mm -hmm. it. Kind of doesn't count. It totally counts. I mean, it counts to me. Shit. Thanks. Never really looked at it like that. Totally. So, how'd you get into feet? Oh, well, it all started after I saw Kicking and Screaming with Will Ferrell. Really? Yeah, but that wasn't all of it. Just how it started. And how did it end here? After high school, all my friends moved away to college, so I didn't really have much else to do. Agreed. Having girls step on you sounds like literally the only option. Feeling your awesome size six feet really replaces the void, though. Size seven? Are you sure? They seem like a six. That's what Jeffrey oh, said. Uh, um, maybe you're right. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty experienced in this. Yeah, so you're always right. I just hope my next client's as experienced as you. Oh, thanks. Can I take you to buy shoes after this? Shoes for me? Sure. Yeah. And if I pay you an extra 20, can we hold hands while you look? In public? No. 
These are like perfect Coke hangover glasses. Bitch, you never even done Coke. Yeah, I did. Remember how wild I got at Kelly's last spring? No, you seemed pretty much regular. That's because I took muscle relaxers right after, duh. Who the hell did you have to fuck to get cocaine and muscle relaxers? Shut up, I'm buying these. But they're like $300. I told you, I got a job again. I have money. Did you cave and start stripping at that place? What? No, that's so beneath me. I'd never do anything like that. Then where? Oh, I work at, um, the anime store in Fair Oaks. Are you serious? Yeah, it was the only place that hired me. You can go there and ask them. I'll never step foot in a fucking anime store, so I'll take your word for it. <laughs> cool. With this cash flow, I'll never have to be sober again. Dude, I wish. I want to party hard every night and die before I'm 21. Yeah, once you're legal, getting drunk isn't even cool anymore. You just look like some dumpy idiot who's depressed about working in an office. Exactly. I want to die young and leave a body so hot, everyone in the morgue gets fired for touching it. Bitch, no you don't. You're going to college for a job and everything. Everybody needs a backup plan. Fuck it, I'm walking out with these. Oh, wait, I she's not pizza paying comes with free heart palpitations now. Dad, why did you eat both pizzas when I just wanted one slice of one of them? Oh, Jessica! Don't hit me! Oh, no, no, I just wanted to know your she's secret. She's still traumatized. What secret? I don't know what you're talking about. Secret for how you're doing so well at this job. What do you mean? You've been paying off the bills ahead of time. It's honestly astounding for an 18-year-old. Oh, yeah, I'm just working hard, Dad. Not just hard, but well, very well. Don't tell me, the three steps? I think I've done a little more than three. Above and beyond, great to hear it. You've done this house and my heart very proud. Your heart? Are you gonna molest me? Of course not, medically speaking. Doctor oh said to avoid any and all stress to prevent cardiac arrest. I'm at that age, you know. Oh, yeah. Well, good luck with that. I don't think it's so much luck as it is you. As long as you stay on this new productive path, I'll be okay. No pressure, sweetie. Thanks, Dad. So I'm mm. just going to reorder another pizza. Oh, before you do, could, could you get the cable bill? But I wasn't even supposed to pay that one. Don't you have internet? I need you to chip in since I upgraded to get the food network. What do you need the food network for? Well, I figured it was time to learn a few recipes since your truck stop turnstile whore of a mother won't be cooking for us anymore. Dad, do you really have to call her that? Don't fucking talk back to me! I'll smack the shit out of you! Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'll pay it! Oh, I can't believe you'd do this to your own father! To what? Causing me chest pains! Are you trying to kill me? No, I'm sorry! I'll mm, buy that's the food kind of his fault. Just don't hit me! <laughs> That's nice, dear. Have fun at work tomorrow. What is that, Kmart? Cool, how you could just shit on the floor at Kmart and there'd be no change yep, in aesthetic. Kmart. Fuck you, I love Kmart. I do too. It was a compliment. It's the only place where I can buy all the stuffed animals and shitty T-shirts I want. Yeah, but you went all out today. You picked a whole cart's worth of shit. Cause half the shirts I'm gonna cut little designs in, and the other half I'm gonna take sharpie and draw my own stuff. Stuff like what? I don't know, like a smiley face, but the line for the mouth just says dead cop. Or no, it could be like dead cop with a heart around it, so cool people think you're punk and old people think you care about 9-11. <sighs> if I do a heart, I'm gonna need the pink sharpie. I'll just go back and get the 48 pack. Can you afford that? Bitch, yeah, I can afford that. What is this anime place paying you? What anime place? The one you work at? Oh yeah, right. Um, they pay me okay. Are you blowing your manager? No. Then who's your sugar daddy? Because there's no way some shitty retail job is paying this much. It's just, I'm just good with my money. Hold on, I got a text. You gotta be fucking the ugliest rich guy in the universe if you can't even tell me. Shut up, hold on. Is it the Asian guy from American Idol? Can you take a walk or something? How about I take oh. your phone, bitch? Uh, what the fuck? Give it back! Who's foot loser one? Nobody. <laughs> Can I pay extra for pink toenail polish? $100. Why are you so defensive over a pedicure? Wait, how do you charge them $100? Okay, so it's complicated. Are you a foot model? Jekka, you know what the nanny said about foot models. The nanny? Yeah, the nanny with Fran dress shirt. No, Nicole, I'm not a foot model. Scroll up. Could you house call to step on me? I'm really lonely, a mom can't drive me. <laughs> 50 extra. What is this? Uh... Guys pay me money to take my shoes off and step on them. Why? I don't know. 
Are they like grapes? You gotta turn them into wine? No, they like it because they're submissive or whatever. Uh, okay, so because they're sub that, they give you hundreds of dollars to just put your feet on them? Basically. You don't have to take your clothes off, suck dick, anything? Not so far. Dude, that sounds awesome. Let me go with you. For real? Money for some loser to just feel my feet? Hell yeah. Like you I mean, actually want to do that one bad, with me? Yeah, lie. you're doing it tonight, right? Let me plus one. <laughs> just for free? Fuck no, I want that foot money too. Yeah, but sharpies. Bitch, don't be greedy. Come on. Don't split the revenue. Share the trauma. Both. All right. Let's try Don't split the revenue first. Nicole, I like really need the money cuz like my dad and everything. So what? So I can't let you go with me? Just give me like 20%. I need that 20%. You're so lame. When we were in high school, you would have totally done it with me. Yeah, but in high school, my parents weren't divorced and making me do shit. I gotta pay for internet, clothes, power, the food network. Gay, whatever. What's gay? You. Nicole, you didn't even know this existed five minutes ago. No, you're right. Have fun stepping on some loser while he jacks off to you. It's not like that, Nicole. Then what the fuck is it like? They know it's weird and everything, but... They can't help it. They just like it. And they give me a lot of money to do it, so that's what I like about it. When has a man ever liked anything that weird without some sexual gratification? I'm sure there's some guys. There's none. Cause no guy on planet Earth is gonna pay for physical contact with a pretty girl without beating his shit raw as soon as she walks out the door. I can't control what they do after. Even if they do, like, what's it matter? Wow, you don't even care anymore. That money must be good. I should get into this on my own. Care about fucking what anymore? Care about being a whore. N no Yeah, cause last I checked, selling your body so a guy can get off makes you a trashy, eh. half-finished, tattoo-sleeve, dimple-pierced fucking whore. Well, so what? Do whatever you want, just a word. How about you show some respect, Nicole? Cause I'm not a whore. I'm a sex worker. I don't throw that government shit at me. I can use my body Wait, however I Nicole want. Wait, wasn't Nicole a sex worker If that makes me a sex too? worker, then I don't care. Bitch, you need to have sex to be a sex worker. Then what am I? You're a human petting zoo. Uh, whatever, I don't need to take this. I'm going to work. What about your Kmart card? My job you have zero respect for could pay for all of this Damn, at a way Nicole. fancier place. I'm going to Kohl's. She's such a bitch. Mm -hmm. I love these supple feet. You picked out really pretty nail polish today. Oh, uh, thanks. Girls' feet always feel good, but this is so it's weird. Even better when they're as pretty as yours. Wow, yeah, cool. Do you lactate? Do I what? You know, lactate. Where milk comes out of your beautiful breasts? Um, definitely not. I'm pretty sure you have to, like, have a baby to do that. Oh, you're right. Well, I hope you can be impregnated by an alpha male of your choosing. <laughs> don't, worry, don't say that to girls. Not even ugly ones. Sorry, I know. It's just you make such a cute mommy. Hey, hey, kissing's extra. How much extra? 250 Oh, maybe next week then. You're such a fucking... Yeah, next week. Um, could you put one of your socks back on? I thought you guys liked bare feet. We do, but sometimes a socked foot can be as cute as a bare foot. Socks is extra. I thought bare feet were extra. Anything that inconveniences me is extra. Oh, all right. You were my first kiss, by the way. I've literally never kissed you and never will. For under $10,000. No, I meant just now. With your feet. Oh, yeah. That's pretty fucking sad. Could I tell you something really personal? Well, you kiss my feet and want to suck milk out of my titties. Not sure how much more personal we could get here. <laughs> I... I'm in love with you. I know. It's really hard, but I try my best to avoid thinking about you while I... <sighs> use my hand. I'm disappointed, but not surprised. Is that extra, too? Is what extra? thinking about you while I enjoy myself. Uh, how would I even enforce this that? This is getting so system, weird. I swear I won't do it without paying you after. Seriously? How's 50 bucks a load sound? It's a little steep, but you're more than worth it. 
cool. Yeah, just PayPal me. I got the text updates on my phone. Of course. You deserve it. You deserve every boy's money, mommy. Now let me dig into these feet some more. Oh. Just make sure you keep that job at the bookstore. She book said store. mommy. I just want to watch wheelchair crash videos and fall asleep. Hey, hey. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, no, uh, Jacka, right? Yeah, what are you doing here? Uh, I, I know this might be an odd time, but were you the same Jekka on the forums? Forums? What? Yeah, the forums. Fucking what forums? Feetmeat.com. Wait, so... You're still doing the foot services, oh, right? Oh, my God. How'd you get my address? Well, your number was in the listing. I just used the internet to trace it back here. Oh, God. But, yeah, how much to kiss your toes? 200, like the stepping? Are you actually crazy? Oh, sorry, was that a low ball? No, you're in front of my house at midnight, and 200's way too low. Ah, it was worth a shot. Get the fuck out of here before I call the cops. Oh, uh, okay, okay, fine. I 300. Hope her dad what? Knew no, that. leave! Okay, 400. 400 to kiss your toes? I'm not haggling, just go home! Okay, screw it. 800, final offer. Eight? No! For how long? Half hour. 20 minutes. Okay, fine. Can we do it inside your house? Fuck no, where's your car? Oh, it's that Chevy Caprice over there. LTZ. Whatever the hell that means, let's go. Wait, can I throw in an extra hundred for you to roleplay? Roleplay what? Remember the girl in the 1984 Apple commercial that throws the hammer through the screen? Uh, maybe it was on Family Guy once? Can you be her? How would you work that huh? into what... We are doing. Oh, you know, like I'm thanking you for throwing the hammer. Is that weird? That's what do you think? Definitely different. weird. Think different. You remember that? Were you alive for that? If I said no, would you feel like a pedophile or keep going through with this? Let's uh let's get in the LTZ. LTZ. Yeah, I'm surprised you called. I thought you'd only hang out with Nicole after we graduated. Uh, it's complicated. Complicated how? Like the Avril Lavigne song. So you were dating? No, like the song's called uh, whatever. Is this technically dating? I don't know. What's the difference between dating and hanging out? Like, uh, like kissing? Do you want to kiss me? Absolutely fucking kinda. Tell me I'm pretty Whoa. first. You're pretty. What's pretty about me? Um, how you're never able to wash your body glitter all the way off? Okay, slut, kiss me. Mwah. Why'd you take a picture of us with your phone? I'm gonna send this to guys I like. Oh. So, I heard you got fired from the Chrome Diner. Yeah, but it's cool. My new job's way better. Where do you work now? Oh, uh... Foot Locker? Really? I work at Finish Line. How's Foot Locker, though? Shit, um, the customers just love oh, shoes she's lying. and socks and feet. Yeah, finish line's easier to work at because customers don't come in. I'm pretty sure my customers come after. Come after what? Uh, oh, like come after the new Jordans drop? Yeah, that's the only time my store is busy. Do they get really mean at you on release days? Uh, well... No, they're kind of always in love with me. In love with you? Oh, I just met they're really nice to me, but it gets creepy sometimes. Could be worse. All my coworkers are like homophobic, Christian, whatever. Is Foot Locker like that too? Wouldn't surprise me. You too? Oh my god, we should quit. You can quit. I kind of need this money though. Should gay people really put up with this just for the money? I'm not the right person to ask. Why not? Because Ari, you're like actually gay. I'm attention-seeking gay at best. Is it really that different? Well, if they're homophobic at my job, I'll live. If they're homophobic at yours, you have to pretend 24-7, so you tell me. You're saying you don't think about killing yourself every day? I only think about Whoa. killing myself when Chipotle gets my order wrong. They make it in front of you. How do they get it wrong? Oh my god, exactly! Okay, what'll get the stench of Thousand Island and blood off my feet? Which of these are gonna make it burn? Should I want it to burn? Oh, hey. Whoa, shit! What? The fuck's the matter with you? You just realize Obama's black? Wow, that was racist. What? No, it's uh. just, uh, work. I have like a hard trigger response when men talk to me now. What are you, a stripper? No. Oh, uh, at least you got that going for you. What's that supposed to mean? At least you're not a whore. 
Do you not like whores? Can't afford them after you blew your money on muscle milk and carry heart tickets? Dude, I only saw them at like three motocross tours, and, and I don't pay for bitches. I'm above that. Oh, Mr. Morality? More moral than you, you fucking dime store dipshit. Is that why you fuck girls while they're unconscious? You're a regular Mr. Rogers. What are you even talking about? What everyone else at school is talking about? Bro, you are going full fucking tits-a-phrenic right now. Sorry if I think paying for pussy's better than stealing it. Is this a wall of PMS? What are you even trying to say? I'm saying you look, sound, and spend your money like a rapist. What's with all these false accusations go away they're not false they're accusations on layaway oh whatever i'm gonna go beat up a deaf person i need some help so what brings you to community youth counseling honestly what hasn't brought me here well we need to start somewhere actually how much does this cost nothing at all it's covered by the county oh okay and if I need a hug, are hugs extra? Extra what? As in charging for a hug? No. Oh, right, yeah. Okay, let's start. So how's everything going at home? Uh, my parents got divorced like a month ago. Divorce can be very hard. Well, no, I'm white. I'll get over it. But it's just my dad <sighs> mainly. Is he taking it really hard? He's taking it out on me. I get threatened every day of my life. Threatened how, exactly, if you don't mind sharing? He said he'll smack the pretty off my face and sell me to Borneo for a sack of rice. Oh, that's a very 70s threat. Yeah, and so I need to help out with the bills or he's gonna get mad and have a heart attack from some chronic heart thing he's got. I see. Anything else with him? Other concerns? He always wants to fuck my friends. H he what? Well, I'm basically kind of gorgeous, so naturally my friends would be too. But he's not related to them, so it's a green light in his mind. But Whoa. your father doesn't want with you, right? No, no, my dad doesn't want to fuck me. He doesn't even like hugging me, so silver lining. Right. So then it seems the issues at home are stemming mainly from the bills? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Have you taken any steps toward a job? Had a job? Right, so first I got a job at the diner. My friend put in a good word for me. That's good. Anything else about this friend? Uh, I guess she's not actually, actually my friend. She's super fucked up on drugs, but she's cool though. And <laughs> are you on drugs at all? <laughs> are we on the floor? No, I take it the diner didn't work out? What was next? Yeah, so it... Didn't work out because I was discovering my new job, which made me late for the first job. Do you like your new job? Um, I like the pay. And what is it? Oh God, Like here it goes. What do I do for it? Uh-huh. And you can't tell anybody about what I do, right? It's sanctioned I therapy. think she's gonna Everything tell. Everything here is confidential. So what do you do for this job? I let guys touch my feet for money. Excuse me? No, it's like they give me a lot of money to stand on them and kiss my toes and be nice when I talk to them. Uh, all right. At first I only did it a little, but then they just kept coming and coming and coming, not on me, but to me. Like one guy just gives me $50 every time he jerks off to me and they all have my number and know where I live and just keep offering me more and more money to where I can't well, say uh... no. Why can't you say no? Because the money was so good, I got used to spending, and all the bills my dad needs me to pay, and if I don't make enough money, it's gonna stress him out, and the stress will give him a heart attack and die, and if he dies, I want a fourth of mortgage, and I'm gonna end up living uh. on the street, withdrawing from Adderall, the loser, and suck at my toes! <laughs> I can see why it'd be hard to talk about this with someone. Nobody wants me for me. Not even my best friend wants me, because I'm a funnel. This I mean, certainly seems like it's a not lot. really bad if it's just How much feet. are these men paying you to make it so necessary to stay? It starts at like $200. No, I meant for a regular job to not be an option. What's the monthly income? Oh, probably like, like six or seven thousand a month. What? Is that bad? That's twice what I get paid. Why'd you come to free counseling? 
Because I didn't know where else to turn. Oh, shut the fuck up. You can afford to pay it. This session is over. 80,000 a year. Unbelievable. She's mad at that? But, Are you serious? But he makes me pay for the food network. I want an eating disorder. That's so fuck. Harder. I'm pretty sure she called the cops. Ryan's gonna be in town. I guess that's cool. Fuck it. Who cares anymore? Hey, hey, wait! Uh, what the fuck? Hey, Jekka. Could you come with me to the Caribou Coffee ladies' room? Kyle, go the fuck home! It's 11 at night! Oh, yeah. I guess Adult Swim just started. You wanna let me inside to watch Adult Swim with you? Sorry, I have better things to do than watching snarky text play over hip hop for white guys. Oh, great. You're still out here. Nice shoes. Oh, by my the God. Way. Mr. Burladay, you know about Jekka, too? Any dedicated feet meter knows Jekka. So, uh, you remember the wife in the Sears air conditioning commercial? No. Hey, don't upset her like that. Oh, no, no. I, I didn't mean any offense by it. Just read the room better next time. What fucking room? We're outside. It's now or never. What? Hey, I heard uh. great things about you. How much to step on me? Is it still 200? Fuck off. Go away. This so is so overwhelming. Creep. At least offer 250. Oh, hey, Jekka. Glad I found you out here. What could you possibly want? Actually, don't tell me. I forgot the password in my PayPal account, so I came to hand deliver the money in cash for our remote arrangement. Came to hand. Wait, there's 200 here. I thought it was 50 a pop. Yeah, um, I did it four times today. Miss Teen USA was on, and Miss Washington uh. looked a lot like you. But you're still prettier, don't worry. Remote arrangement? Oh, see, whenever I relieve myself thinking about Jekka, I have to pay her $50. Really? I didn't know we had to do that. I'm sorry. I am too now. Well, let me go to the ATM and get you $1,400. Uh, all right. Um. So, two fifty then? I was here first! Three hundred! I hid in the bushes first! I was in love with her first! Oh, fuck! Just go away! Oh, look what you did to her. Okay, I gotta call the police for real this time. Wait, shit, my phone's dead. Where's the cordless? Dad? Hmm? No. Did he see the crowd outside? They gave him a heart attack. Dad! Dad, it's gonna be okay! Oh. I'm coming in. Don't freak out. Ugh. Dad, are you... Wait. Nicole? Oh, no. She caught us. Uh, Why the fuck are your toes in his mouth? Don't act like you don't know. Sweetheart, I, I can explain. Shut your flavored seltzer ass up and feel those feet. Oh, God. Nicole, with my dad? What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm just a broke bitch with no limits. I'm gonna fucking... Ugh. What? I needed the money. Wasn't that your excuse? So wow, what a twist. <laughs> I did not expect that. Is this perspective? Remember <laughs> when you were like 12 and watching some shitty Law & Order ripoff show? There was always an episode where the cops interview a hooker from the scene of the crime and she was like this bad neighborhood ornament. Like had no story beyond, yeah, I was sucking dick and heard a gunshot. And then you barely think about her. You watch it like that's just supposed to be this stupid horror character. Like that's her thing doesn't even come into your mind. You just passively think, oh, I'll never be her. But then you grow up to be gorgeous, get handouts for it, your parents get divorced, your friends move away, you need drugs and money and money for drugs and... Are these excuses or justifications? You tell me. I told myself I was a sex worker. Not lazy, pathetic, desperate, a sex worker. Sex worker felt a lot better than whore that it didn't change the reality. Reality is, I was just another stupid whore. I was a dumb, stupid, fucking foot whore. So laugh all you want. Forget about me all you want. But at least I'll be gorgeous forever. Um. Uh, Jekka? <gasps> She's dead. Bad ending, yeah. Hello, dear. I saw your FM whisting and wanted to see if you could come to your house to be stepped on. 
by your cute little piggies. My parents named me Frederick, but you can call me Freddy Footins. I am 34 years young and have been with the Feet Meat community for about 5 years now. Someone on the forums snapped a pic of your feet without your permission and I pleasured myself to it roughly 9 times. With that icebreaker out of the way, I have saved up about $300 with my SSI checks and would like to hire your services. Unsure if you do any of the more erotic foot sessions, but just in case, let me list you some feet, free space, lol, choking, foot play, face sitting, mommy incest, sister incest, twin cest, simulated kidnapping, woman wearing the Taco Bell uniform, that's really specific. <laughs> You pretending to be Mexican, but then saying you are white after I point out how hot it is that you are Mexican? That, um, okay, okay. Covering my rent this month? The last one wasn't a kink, but would be pretty cool if you did that. Also, I am not a rapist by definition. Look it up, so no need to Google anything about me. P.S. Haven't seen your face yet, but if you look roughly 12, I am so going to try moving out of my parents' house down the line one day, maybe to date you. Um. Alright, he got some weird kinks. This time, we're gonna share the trauma. Hey, fine, just don't fuck it up for me. No, totally. I won't fuck it down or left either. Don't worry. What about right? I always fuck it right. Cool. So we gotta be there before 8 p.m., so let's just check out and head straight there. Wait, but there's no, like, directions or anything? I got GPS in my car. No, I mean directions for stepping on people. Oh, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. They just press their face against your feet. Do they feed off while you're there? No, that's way extra. Like, a thousand dollars extra. A thousand bucks you could have actual sex with a hoe for less than a thousand nicole we are thin white and pretty everything we do comes with a premium and we ain't talking saltines but yeah the guy we're gonna see is just jeffrey ew why would you let him whore your feet out find someone cuter that's not how it works if they pee enough you just do it it's not like dating where you can be picky i guess if we're going together it's not so bad we can make fun of him and stuff no you can't really do that either because then he won't want to hire me again yeah i guess feet fucking comes with a lot of insecurity it's not Feet fucking, you just play footsie with his face. Man, my therapist is gonna have a field day with this. Oh, and you're gonna wanna take a few of these. Is that Xanax? Yeah, I need it for like every client or my feet are shaking. I just told the doctor I'm afraid of heights and he wrote me a whole bottle. I got name brand from the pharmacist too. Is name brand really good? It's not just good, it's on its best behavior. Oh, you girls spoil me so good. I knew things would get better after oh, high God. school. Jeffrey, just focus on feet, not the society around them, okay? Yes, ma'am. Mm. Ew, I can feel his mouth vibrate. Shh. <laughs> Every woman on his wall is a cartoon. Yeah, he pays us to do this. What'd you expect? I can't decide whose feet are more cute. Oh, uh, thanks. Yeah, it's not like they're essential for human function or anything. Every part of a woman is just for your entertainment. Nicole. Oh, did I say something wrong? Nothing you'll ever correct in your lifetime. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we're judgment-free girls. Enjoy those feet, Piggy. Nicole! What? I think he likes it. Oh, I'm mommy's Piggy. Oh, gross. Um. His standards are so low, he thinks any interaction from a girl is affection. You like that, you video game shirt-wearing loser? I love it. She just wants you to be better, Jeffrey. Don't worry. Yeah, as in you better not think we're equal, bitch. I know. You two will always be my first priority. Uh-huh. Because what's the point in actually dating girls? Um, They're just going to come crawling back to anime women and I feet. guess Jeffrey You're is right. lucky. And you'll tell everyone in the world that relationships are overrated. But the truth is, you're just a lonely little foot loser. Uh, uh, but in a good way. Damn, in Nicole. In a cartoon women on your walls, guarantee you'll die alone way. Mm, good thing I got you guys. And if you want to keep us, you're going to take us to Olive Garden and pay for everything. Oh, sweet. Like a date? Fuck no. We're going to sit at our own table, and you're going to pay for our meal while you sit alone at the bar. Understand? 
Why would I do that? Because you're a little board game enthusiast bitch who knows you'll never have sex with us, so spending money on us is the next best thing. Well, that sounds so comforting when you say it. Like you know my place in the world. Oh my mm -hmm. god, Jeffrey. And that place is right under our feet like a bug. A little pornographic Japanese video game playing bug. They have porn video games? But my mom's gonna yes, get they mad do. at me for spending so much of my money in one day. I mean, you don't have to care what she thinks. Yeah, who would you rather fuck, us or your mom? Mm, tough choice. Why is that a <laughs> tough choice? Feedme.com is a mommy play board and... Ugh. She said your mom. Hey, your mom, my mom, we're all mom. Let's get some Olive Garden. Okay, just five more minutes with your feet, mommy. Oh, now he's calling us that. Why'd we come here Olive on a Friday Garden evening? Again. Yeah, it's packed with families thinking you need to dress up to go here. A 20-minute wait. Unbelievable. Yeah, and it was 25 before we flirted with the host. Like our affection combined is only worth five minutes? Yeah, I think you guys are way cuter and nicer than five minutes. Jeffrey, don't while we're in public with you. I swear to God, unlimited soup and salad is not worth this hassle. What about the breadsticks? Fuck the breadsticks. They don't even crunch when you bite into them. I like yeah, the breadsticks. just sticks. another chain restaurant bested by the Red Lobster Cheesy Biscuits. You want to go there instead? Maybe. But first, I just want to stick it to Olive Garden. Yeah, I feel that. I'm going to break one of their windows. But you're going to get caught on their cameras. Yeah, you're right. Jeffrey, could you break one of their windows for us? <laughs> but, oh. But I might get in trouble. Oh, come on, Jeffrey. Yeah, Jeffrey. Don't you want to make us happy? I... Yeah. So you go ahead and make me happy. Make mommy happy. Oh, yes, mommy. Is he really gonna... <gasps> oh, my God. <gasps> he did it. Okay, was... Was that good? <laughs> Aw, that was so good. It was pretty cool. I didn't think he'd actually do it. I guess we gotta go to Red Lobster now. Is there anything else I can do for you? Hmm, well, there's a couple things I wanted to steal at the mall lately. You're gonna steal? No, you're gonna steal. For mommy, right? Nicole, you're gonna get us arrested. Don't worry, worst case scenario, he gets arrested. Do you want me to steal anything for you, Jekka? Oh, no, that's okay. I just remembered I left a DiGiorno in the oven for the last... Three hours, so I gotta take care of that. Oh no, mommy's DiGiorno's. Forget her. Come on, let's go to the mall. What store are we going to first? I'm feeling Walgreens, actually. I needed to steal a whole lot of cough medicine. Oh no, are you this sick? This is not no, gonna end you're well. you're sick. I need you to take all the medicine you steal. Entire bottle. But I don't have a cough or anything. Nicole's Why gonna get him to in trouble. So Cause mommy's bored and wants to see what DXM will do to you. So you gonna entertain mommy? You're right. Let's go. And after that, we're going to Hot Topic to see how many t-shirts scare you. Jessica? Don't hit me, what? What's this unpaid power bill notice? We made the power your responsibility, remember? I know. It was just something changed at work that messed with my income a little. What kind of change? Well, Nicole, I, I mean, my hours got split with some bitch who listens to Evanescence. But you're still out for the same amount of time. Oh, that's because I'm just looking for a new job. I gotta stay proactive. Great initiative, dear. Unlike your waste of human flesh, mother. Uh, yeah. But so, how's the day-to-day -day of your diner job? I'm sure you're up to your knees in hungry customers. Usually just the toes, sometimes ankles. And do they tip well? Yeah, but not always in money. One time a guy gave me a pair of shoes. I didn't know people would tip like that. Just don't let him get away with that next time. Cash only. Yeah, cash. Smaller footprint, too. You know the saying, give them an inch and they take a mile. Or a foot. The restaurant business can be so tricky. Just stay on your toes. Oh, I have been. Still glad to hear <laughs> you're applying other places. Just got to get that foot in the door in the right business. Totally. My foot's been in a lot of places. Just don't spread yourself too thin, though. I like Quantity the joke. can be the Achilles heel the feet of jokes. quality. They usually call it mommy's heel. What was that? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking about the penguins and happy feet. Some things never change. You always spaced out as a little girl. Yeah, I'm kind of a free thinker. But now that you're an adult, you're going to have to get your act together before I kick your fucking teeth in! Dad, no. No, nothing, bitch! Keep screwing around and I'll shove my fucking foot down your throat! But how much? Oh, now if you'll excuse me, the love gurus on HBO. <laughs> For how Arnold much? And James, anyway. 
probably white guys who want us to respect the flag. My least favorite white guys are patriotic with an unexpected cross of forced quirkiness. Quirky how? Like shit like proposing with a ring pop and thinking it's funny. Oh, I saw that on YouTube once. Yeah, what are you, Willy Wonka? Marriage proposal's like the one time in any boring man's life where he attempts a shred of creativity. Yeah, I was proposed mm. to once. No way, who? Cormac. Krusty Cormac? Yeah, he went insane when I stepped on him last week. It was a diamond toe ring. What the fuck? Okay, I'm exaggerating, it was quartz. No, last time we saw Cormac was three weeks ago. Are you seeing these guys without me? What's wrong with that? Cause he hasn't called me in three weeks. I'm losing money. You're watering down the market. What, am I supposed to turn down free money? You're supposed to include me cause I got you into this in the first place. Wow, you helped me be a foot whore. I should be so grateful. It was fine when you did it with Jeffrey, but now it's screwing my money up. Oh, speaking of Jeffrey, he's like really fun. Fun how? I got him to suck off a homeless guy. <laughs> okay, yeah, all right. No, I'm not joking. It's his mommy thing. He'll do whatever I tell him to. Who, what, um, where, when, and why the fuck did you do that? We were walking out of the mall and some homeless dude asked for change and I was just like, oh, we got something better than change. So I told Jeffrey I'd kill myself if he didn't do it. Then he did it and the homeless guy got $10, so it's all good. He got, uh, Jeffrey paid $10 to suck his dick? Yeah, it was pretty funny. I'm like glad and not glad I missed that at the same time. What? But what if Jeffrey got AIDS doing that? Well, he's locked in his room playing Spyro all day, not spreading it anytime soon. Is that why you're getting four Captain Morgans? To drink the guilt away? No, I'm going to a party tonight. I would never feel guilty over anything bad happening to Jeffrey. Like, genuinely a terrible human being. He's not that bad. He told me he fantasizes about a world where women are milked like cows and mandated to have sex with any guy who wants them. Oh, that's really bad. So I literally don't care what happens to him. Now let's buy this Captain Morgan and get the hell out. When'd you get your fake ID? What fake ID? We picked out all the shit and you don't even have a fake ID. I don't need one. It's the Pakistani guy working today. He loves the white girls. Yeah, let's flirt. Oh, man. These feet neat reviews weren't lying. Reviews? Yeah, there's a scoring system for every girl's feet on the forums. You got a solid 9.6 out of 10. H how do you score feet? Oh, like calluses, toe length, it's just a lot of science. Pretty important stuff. You're about top 20 on the whole site. Uh, who's number one? Anna Kornikova. Oh. I guess that case west deal didn't work out. But number three is someone totally new to the scene. Practically, I bet it's Nicole. Nowhere. Uh, that's nice. I think her name's Nicole. What? Yeah, real special girl. I'll tell you. Take it. Uh oh, Jack is getting jealous. But she just started. I know she ranks higher than you, and honestly, your feet alone are way nicer. Though it's not always about the feet. But the girl connected to them. Like we're objects, great. Can you uh, stand on my face now? Yeah, sure. I gotta make a phone call anyway. Your call has been forwarded. Damn, that party must be wild. But if she's there, that means the other foot money should be available. Konnichiwa, this is Jeffrey's son. If this is any manga, a director. Jeffrey's never out doing then, anything. Why is his phone off? Unless... I know my phone's off and I'm getting stepped on. Kind of rude to leave it on. Might have to leave a bad review. Fuck off, foot bitch! I gotta go check something. Uh, <laughs> I feel so cold <laughs> without the fee. This is such a fun party, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. What the hell? You don't like partying with mommy? No, I do. I just feel a little weird. Weird how? Like how you make girls feel weird? No, just woozy. You probably just haven't hit the vibe yet. Here, take another sip of mommy's Captain Morgan. Another drink? But you already made me take three ambience. I see anime yeah, girl because you look super sick and you needed to take some medicine. Come on, I just drank from the bottle. It's like you're kissing mommy. Well, I never kissed a girl before. I don't recognize so. any of them. Do you guys That's it. know any drink of up. The anime uh, girls? Birds my throat. Uh-uh, drink a little more. The burn means you love me, okay? Okay, mommy. That's a good mommy. boy. Mommy. <laughs> now what? I don't know. You still look kind of under the weather, so... I already told you. I 
I'm fine. Don't you ever fucking talk back to me. Do you want mommy to go home? No. God, you'll be a virgin forever at this rate. But wait, do, do you mean that you'd... Oh, uh, only if you take your medicine. You want mommy to have sex with you, right? Mm. Okay, what medicine? Mommy needs you to take some Xanax, okay? Z Xanax? Is that good? It's not just good. It's on its best Wait, behavior. Medicine with alcohol? I don't from think here. that's a good idea. What the idea. hell is she doing with him? Right, guys? Hope I'm not too late. God, that Chick-fil-A drive through took so long. God, this party sucks. Is Robin Big still on TV? What are you? Oh my God! How'd you know I was here? Why is he on the floor? He just passed out. Ooh. For fucking what? I don't know. I got bored. He just took anything I gave him. He's not even breathing. Yeah, rum and Ambien will do that. You had him drink rum with Ambien? Nah, he had Xanax too. Were you trying to fucking kill him? I was trying to have a good time. You gotta mellow out. Nicole, look at. Uh, he's not. I can't believe you. What, you suddenly like him now? He was... He was what? He was my best client, Nicole! If he's actually dead, that's $800 a month just gone! I thought I was a sociopath. How long has he been like this? I don't know, like 20 minutes? I'm calling 911. They might be able to still save him. Are you fucking crazy? Are you? If you call 911, paramedics are gonna show up. If paramedics show up, they're gonna ask how this happened. If they ask how this happened, I'm gonna have to lie. Then they'll resuscitate Jeffrey, who's gonna have a totally different story. Okay, well, let's worry about that later. Is that a diet we just stand here? I'm gonna go to jail if he doesn't die. So you wanna just stand here while his body fucking rots Hello? away? Yeah, because then we can say we found him like this, so we don't go to jail when Jeffrey wakes up to say otherwise. What do you mean, we? You did I this! Start. With your Xanax prescription, so it's gonna look like we both did it. Are you serious? Ooh. So if I'm going down for some future pedophile who wants to literally fuck his mom, you're going with me. No, but I gave you that for... Close your phone. But... 800 a month. Close your phone before I fucking break it. <laughs> so controlling. What would you do? Call no, the cops. Actually, what the fuck would you do? Do you just usually stand over dying bodies where it's either you oh. or them? The weirdest part was that it didn't feel that weird. Like I'd been there a million times before. You ever go to a party where someone ODs and you immediately learn every kid's economic background? The rich kids want to call 911 and the hood kids scream for them to stop. The Hood Kids' parents don't have money for lawyers, so they're the only ones that worry if the police show up. They'd rather watch someone die than risk going to jail for a drug charge. It seems crazy when you're from the other side of town, but on their side, it's just doing what you gotta do. At first, I thought what Nicole did was fucked up, like she seriously used me. But when I look at where I'm at now, and where I was, does the end justify the means? After that night, I never took another client again. I was meeting strangers on the internet and renting my body out. Yet, yeah, Jeffrey died, but how soon was it going to be before I fucking died? In a weird emo Lizzie McGuire miracle twist? Nicole killing Jeffrey basically saved my life. Was that her intention? Fuck no. But as much as people hate her, she's kind of necessary. Don't act like you're not glad he's dead. Pretty messed up. Another video. What the fuck was that? Oh. Hi, I'm not sure if I have the right person, but this is Jeffrey's mother. 
I was just texting to thank you for finding his body and alerting the authorities when you did. Oh. My bad. <laughs> Unfortunately, they were it, they were too late, but you can't blame yourself for that. A part of me is devastated, but another part of me is relieved. Which is horrible to say, Jeffrey has never quite fit in with the other children. Never had the best grades, and maybe this was the only avenue for him, sadly enough. Every day I wonder, in the back of my head, if I had failed as a mother by raising someone so awkward. By middle school, I eventually gave up on him to compartmentalize my insecurities as a parent, letting him play with toys and masturbate to what I assume is animated pornography that I found on his computer. I worried he would be hopelessly going through adulthood, so this might have been the best outcome for him. He would tell me he was going to work on video games for a job when he was an adult. Then it was comic books, then it was making YouTube reviews for action figures. All these things he said he wanted to do and never pursue. My fear was he just wanted to be a child playing with toys forever. My son's suicide is bittersweet. On one hand, he is gone, but on the other, he realized himself that life wouldn't work out and ended things before they got worse. I knew there was a smart boy somewhere inside Jeffrey. I also know we have never spoken before, but I needed to tell someone who would not have any preconceived notions about my pain and can understand my blunt honesty now. When Jeffrey was alive, I was insecure. Now that he's gone, I can feel free. What? Alright. I think that was it. I think that's all the endings, unless I'm missing some. No, I'm pretty sure I made all the decisions. So this was a really short game, but... Man, it really shows the perspective of Jekka. I think both Nicole's perspective and Jekka's perspective are both fucked up. This is a really interesting game. I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you all later. Bye! Bye 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 bye.